Hey, hello everybody, my name is Good Boy, and welcome to the Top 10 Rumors and Gankers. Here we look through all of the best ganking heroes in patch 6.88 and see their little nuances and how they're able to do it so effectively. Ogre Magi! So Ogre Magi is pretty much the new lion of patch 6.88F. Um, in particular, again, very good lockdown with his first abilities, but also the fact that he can enhance the carries that you want to secure ganks on. So he can roam very comfortably into the lane, and then lock down a target, and then enhance the carry to kill him. The other thing as well, obviously, is his ignite ability also helps with the slow. Very, very strong mechanisms for ganking. Nix Assassin! Now, Nix Assassin has always been a premier ganker. But again, in this patch, pretty fantastic, especially with his uh, ultimate ability, Vendetta. Um, pretty much able to kill nearly anybody and does insanely well against intelligence-based carries like OD or even Storm Spirit. Turns up, locks you down, burns all your mana, and then nukes you, usually with a Dagon. Very, very strong ganker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker has been somewhat underrated in this patch and maybe isn't played that well. Obviously, the big thing being about him is he comes online after about four minutes when you get the nighttime effect. Very, very strong hero in terms of um, single target ganking, uh, especially with his slow and silence abilities. Uh, but like I say, it tends to be a flavor of the meta. So, depending on which patch we're in, it'll either be in season or out. But, um, but very, very strong and always formidable. Enchantress. So Enchantress doesn't enjoy a particularly favorable uh, pick weight or win rate in this particular patch. But that being said, still maintains a very, very strong presence, particularly with the fact that she has uh, neutral creeps that she can bring under her control and then use in all kinds of wonderful ways to gank people with. Naturally, of course, with the uh, impetus enhancements from Dragonlance, uh, she's definitely formidable. Pudge. Of course, we couldn't ever release um, a patch 6.88 ganker top 10 without having, of course, Pudge. Pudge, pretty much, if he lands his hook, is a uh, a one a guaranteed kill. Not always, but pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. The other fun thing about him now is that he doesn't necessarily have to be exclusively played mid, like he always traditionally has been. He has lots of uh, roam potential, and so even playing in the laning phase can work really, really well. Spirit Breaker. Spirit Breaker has been very, very strong in this patch. Um, like I say, kind of goes in and out of style, but nonetheless is um, a force to be reckoned with. I mean, like I say, his charge ability is just so, so strong. And like I say, with even remotely good levels and a few items, he can very easily take down single target heroes. Also very good against his annoying invis heroes if he carries dust. So yeah, very, very strong, and of course, in the top five. Earth Spirit. Now, Earth Spirit is one of those heroes which is actually really, really strong. Insanely strong, actually, in the uh, in pretty much any phase of the game. But unfortunately, in the uh, in the meta, he's really, really not played well, and enjoys a very unfavorable pick and win rate. But actually, if you take into account his ultimate abilities, his stones, his ability to pull people in silence, he's actually insanely strong at starting fights. Mirana. Mirana was the sweetheart of TI6, and, uh, and you know, that arrow, that bloody arrow when it hits you, is just so, so strong. So, naturally, of course, with Starfall, with her escape mechanisms, with her ultimate ability, so not only does she gank very, very well solo, but she can take an entire team with her, she naturally, of course, has enjoyed a very good pick rate and win rate in this patch. And uh, while definitely nerfed out of existence, very, very great. Bounty Hunter. 
So invisibility is back in, and bounty hunter is no exception. Naturally, of course, the skill level of the player that uses it well needs to be very high, but bounty with his invisibility does very, very well at ganking people, and not to mention all that bonus gold from his ultimate. So definitely a force we look for, and like I say, with reasonable levels of farm, and of course, working in the early game, Bounty Hunter enjoys exceptionally good gank potential. Ricky. Of course, it had to be Ricky. Ricky has always traditionally been played as a carry, but now enjoys a more of a utility roaming ganking type role by getting farm from jumping on people as opposed to just hard farming. And it's working extremely well with his incredibly high pick and win rate in the patch. Very, very strong hero, and with his ultimate, very difficult to kill. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share it. If you'd like more videos with the same content, or maybe something a bit different, please follow the video links below.